In this video, I'll be showing you how to add images in your HTML and also how to resize them and make them appear on your website. All right. So let's go back to Atom. And in the last video, we added tables. So I'll come here after the table. I'll come down and to add an image, you just need to put in the IMG element, which is the element for adding image. So I'll just come here and write IMG and I'll press enter and you can see the syntax of this element. This element comes with attributes. So you can see we have the source and also the alternate text. So this source is just where you reference the file path for that image and there are two types of file paths we have the absolute file path and the relative file path okay so in this video we are going to be making use of the relative file path because in the absolute file path you need to go to where your image is located and copy the full the complete um location in the directory okay you need to copy the complete location of that particular image and reference it here why for the relative file path you just need to go and copy that image from wherever it is on your system and bring it and put it in this html folder all right so that is how you do that so let's for now you can see we have just this index this is just what we have in this folder now for us to reference an image we need to copy it from wherever it is bring it to this folder and drop it here so it becomes very easy for us to just reference that image and link it here so i'll come to my desktop and here you can see i have an image here so i'll just come and copy this picture i'll copy it and then you can see in this folder i'll just double click open this folder and i will paste it so now you can see i have um, an image yes smiling the name of this picture is smiling and when i hover my mouse on it you can see the format of this image which is jpeg right this is a jpeg file there are other formats for images like png and um, the rest gif and all that but this particular image is jpeg so um, and i named this image as smiling okay because this lady is smiling in fact let me launch the picture so you can see it so this lady is smiling and this is the picture i want to add to my website in html so i'll just close this from here come back to atom then when i come here you can see that because i added that in that folder automatically it just um displays in my atom and you can see the extension is added here in atom smiling.jpg right so i'll just come here and i will put smiling.jpg all right then when i put this i will just save it control s and i will go to my browser and refresh and when i come to my browser and refresh you can see how this image looks this image looks really big i have to scroll before i see the complete image because the image is looking really big okay so that element displays this image but the issue we have here is that our image is looking really big and to reduce the size of this image we need to make use of this attribute called the width okay so i'll just come here and i will add width which is the attribute for resizing images then i'll come here and write something like 50 percent okay so i'll just save it and then I will go to my browser and I will refresh and now you can see this image is only occupying 50% of my entire screen okay so this is how you add images in your HTML and this is how you resize images as well I want to come back to my code so if I click here and come back to the code, you can see we have alternate. This is another attribute called alt. And then in case you are wondering what this alt does, the function of this alt is to display an alternate text in case this image gets broken. So let's say I come here and I put something like a picture of a lady smiling and then I just save it. If I come to the browser and I refresh, you can see you don't see that alternate text I added here. You can't see it. 
but if i come back to my code and i change this extension to something like png let's assume i made a mistake i put png instead of jpeg and then when i come here and i refresh you can see it shows that this image is broken you see this place it shows that the image is broken but it now shows the alternate text that this is a picture of a lady smiling so you can use that alternate text to describe the image in case the image gets broken so that's the first use of the alternate text and the second use is that you use alternate text to for screen readers okay you know people that have visual impairments blind people they also have a software that read content on a web page for them so you can put this um, alternate text so in case the screen reader reads and gets to the point of the image it can just read what the image is all about all right before i end this video let me just come back here and fix this so i'll just put jpeg and you can see that this extension is very important just by changing that extension my image got broken so i'll just fix this back and i will come to my browser and when i refresh you can see that my image displays here all right guys that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next video